Sorry, I put my feet in. I just, these are, these are, these are great shots like this. I, I promise they're clean. Ken, is there an uh, outlet for just to go and leave? I can just charge these babies. Like, most um, of your outdoor ones are on the grass one. I can have a snack for you to buy it. Okay. You know, I'll just keep it here. I'll just keep it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Boy, Scott, they do nice work turning moves, don't they? I moved your camera because it was closer to the sprinkler than oh. you would have liked. And oh. they, they got your shoes, but you, they didn't get your camera. No, 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 that's fine. It's my fault. Don't worry. It's, it's tough. It's tough. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And is this yours? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got to do it. In fact, these will be now. All I'm going to do is get, if, if you, there's any way to uh, actually, just let, we'll just let those um, charge and then I'll get them when I leave. I'll start the interview now. You want to sit someplace comfortable? You don't want to get your, you, you don't get your audio in. Okay, so how about this? Let's, let's get away from the pool sound. Yeah. Maybe have you sit you like here. We want to? Yeah. Why don't we do that? Make it quiet. And then I'll just turn the camera away from you and ask you a couple questions. Yeah, I can turn that off. Perfect. It's very nice to have a... It's like a little retreat. It is. I, mean, I swear to you. It's like we used to go to the shore in Avalon, oh, okay. and we don't really go anymore. And, and it, my kids are 7, 10, and someday soon, I, I mean, I don't know, you know, I would love... My point is, I, I, I'm with you. This is just... Where do you guys live? I live in uh, Paoli, the end of the sure. line, like sure. right below um, King of Prussia. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I grew up in media, uh, Broomall area. I went to Episcopal Academy. I don't know if you heard of that. And then Absolutely. Uh, went to Penn, and then stayed around here and... Met my wife out in L.A. Which, while she was going to Villanova Law School. And oh, getting... my wife went to Villanova Law School. Oh, really? Wow. Did she graduate? Yeah, my, my wife graduated. She did a JD MBA, like dual program, and she graduated in 90... She graduated from Lehigh as a chemical engineer, and then in 2000, let's say, she graduated with her JD MBA. Uh, so 2000. I don't know. Okay, so, well, my wife graduated... My, my wife and I both graduated the same year. She graduated Villanova Law School in 88. <coughs> Okay, oh my god, well then, yeah, I mean, theoretically, my wife's Indian, so she's easy to spot. Her name's Tanuja, so later ask her if she remembers an Indian woman, a girl named Tanuja. Tanuja, yeah. she practiced law or no? She did, she was a patent attorney for about three years, and then we had a baby, and she didn't really like the law, so now she teaches calculus at Episcopal Academy, my alma mater, nice. which we live a mile away from, because they moved. Oh, um, she teaches calculus. Mm -hmm. Does she ever tutor? She does. In fact, that's so funny you say that because we, um, she's tutored a lot of kids and uh, been really pretty successful with it. And we just, um, you know, uh, she's been actually this summer creating a con like academy curriculum for online tutoring for the school to ramp up. So she's like doing extra work for them in that way. So if you ever need a tutor, she's cheap, she's great, she's brilliant, she's fun. So if you, I mean, you know, keep, me, or keep yeah. her in mind. You know, she's, our younger daughter Kylie is, I think, is. Um, she doing algebra or? or well, she's or, going into eleventh grade. I forget what she does, but she's a strong student. But, uh, but you, you know, there's always opportunities. Sure. For, for a tutor. Well, my, no, my wife has done extensive tutoring, and that's how she really got the job because she doesn't have a math degree. Yeah, well. sure. Take your time. This yeah. water never tasted so good. Jeez. See, that's just too cool. Remote control. Yeah, I just have to find. I'm still getting used of course, to that. I am. Look at that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm envious. 
And then if I hit another button, literally in like a second it goes on. Now the, 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 the overflow, as I learned today, that stays on the whole time. It's part of like the filtering. Uh -huh, right, so that, that makes realize. sense. That makes sense. That's actually yeah. smart that they use that feature. So. Yeah, I, I was at the first. The first pool I did was just like yours. The only difference it has, it had at night these fire things that were oh. ridiculous. I mean, they were like overkill, but it was like you know, it was neat cinematically. But you know, it was one of those things where to spend all that money to get fire when it was like a, it was like a, ooh, and then you know, I, to me, it's like you put your money where, where Matt well, counts. Fire pit over there. Well, to me, but but that's functional. You know what I mean? Like right. theirs, theirs is like you can't get near it. Right. It's like you know, yours is you can sit around. I love those. Right. Theirs is like just purely. Um, yeah, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna. Right, yeah, what do you want me to do? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna talk naturally. Okay. I'm gonna shoot this away from you. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna use your name or anything. I'm just gonna ask you some questions. And if you ever like don't like what you say, say let's do it over or whatever. Because okay. I'll edit this. Okay. Um, if this has been your first pool, which you've been in. Wh wh why did you get a pool? And why did you pick Blue Haven? That'll be the first question. Okay. I'm gonna put this right here as well. Well, we, my wife and I always wanted a pool for a long time. Uh, in our prior house, we didn't really have the space for it, but we do here. And um, Blue Haven has an excellent reputation. And I met the owner. I really liked him. I had the confidence that he would do a good job and uh, would be conscientious and follow through. And he delivered uh, a beautiful pool for us, so we're thrilled. We just moved in a few days ago. We really just starting to. We really haven't even had an opportunity to enjoy it yet, but we're about to do that starting tomorrow, July fourth. That's great. And and you obviously could have chosen anyone to build your pool. Was there anything about Blue Haven that you, in either in foresight when you when you hired them or in retrospect, you're happy with your decision? Is there anything? Well, first of all, we live on a street called Deerfield Court, and the other three homes in here uh, use Blue Haven. So in talking to the neighbors, they were very happy with their pool. They're beautiful. Every pool is a little different in our community. Everybody has different features, but um, I figured, well, if it was good enough for the three neighbors, and they were happy it was good enough for us. So you're the th are you the third customer? Because I know they have one, and they have one. Are you the third or are you the fourth? Fourth. The wow. Fourth. Who, who, who's the, th the third one, then? That's it's the one first house. First, right there. Yeah, actually, next it's you. Ryan Howard. You know what? They Wait, so Ryan Howard is that house? No, the next house. The house next one over. Right. Okay. So I, so he got a pool from him? I didn't, because he said they go, oh, take a shot of Ryan Howard's house. And I was like, oh, but they didn't, I, I didn't know he had a pool. That's neat. Yeah. Okay, so everyone's Everyone has it. a pool. That's neat. Now, my understanding is I know the next door neighbor is from Blue Haven. Mm -hmm. I know 504. the street yep. is from Blue Haven. I'm pretty sure Ryan Howard is from Blue Haven, uh -huh. but I'm not 100% Yeah, maybe sure. not. And maybe if he is, he didn't want this thing because yeah. uh, he's Ryan Howard. Uh, that's neat. That's pretty Cool. Are you a Phillies fan? This is a totally side question. Yeah. <laughs> That's of course. That's fan awesome. Fan yeah. Philadelphia. Awesome. Um, so uh, when you went to design your pool, what kind of pool, what was that process like? Um, was it easy? Was it hard? Was it fun? Was it? What was well, it, like? it was very easy because um, I met with Ray Calvitti and his assistant Dominic, and they we they gave us a few different forms. We knew what we wanted. We knew it, we wanted a free form pool, but we weren't sure exactly the details. So they showed us some pictures. Um, and we, one just jumped at us. Our, every member of our family, I have two teenage daughters and my wife, we all sat down and we, we all, our eyes all went to the same one. So that was an easy selection. And then, uh, you know, for monetary reasons, I was reluctant to do the waterfall and the raised spa, but of course my family wanted it and we pulled the trigger and it came out magnificently. Are you Much glad nicer. you did it? Well, I was very skeptical about the waterfall. I, I was, well, I figured at the end of the day, it would be a pile of rocks and a little stream. It didn't seem like it would really... I was very concerned that, that it really wouldn't deliver the punch that the cost required because it's real, you know, it's real stone out there. Those are real boulders, and it took, it took them a long time to build that. A lot of labor involved, and the raised spa, there's a lot of labor involved. And it was... I forget the gentleman's name, but he was, you know, he wor you know, he was wor working under Blue Haven, and he was phenomenal. He made the process fun. He had a great personality, kind of like a personality like yours. Oh, thanks. He was very outgoing. He was funny. Um, he, he immediately gave me the confidence that I knew that it was going to be beautiful. I asked my skeptical questions like, well, is really the water going to look nice? I mean, is it really going to, is it going to be gimmicky? I don't want it to be gimmicky. He assured me he had done many, many of them for Blue Haven. He said, trust me. Now, we did come up with my daughter, Ky my daughter Kylie, 
too, is uh, very talented, has a good eye. She came up with that brook, that brook uh, effect in the middle of the waterfall. Right. And that was her idea. And he and and the, the gentleman who built it loved the idea. So we came up, we showed him some pictures, and we said, look, we'd love to have the waterfall, but in the middle we want that little brook effect. And he said, oh, I, I've done that before. I know exactly what you're looking at, looking for. And, I mean, he did it perfectly. I, I couldn't... I, if you said to me you could change anything about this pool, there would be nothing I would change. That's a heck of an endorsement. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you can't even make that line up. That's great. Yeah. And they did it on time, on budget. I mean, On time, on budget. Um, yeah, the sequence of events. I, didn't, I had never been involved in this before, so I had no idea how it was going to work. You had a pool electrician came out. He came out. He was fabulous. You had a pool plumber came out. He came out. He was fabulous. Um... It worked like clockwork. We had a little issue with the step in the very, very beginning. I wanted to change it. And they got the gunite guy out there and they changed it. So they were very flexible. One thing I noticed about this pool is like you've just moved in and you know, one of the things about moving into a house is it can be sterile. It seems like this pool automatically makes it homey. Yeah. You know? Is it me? Because I've never really had a pool in my life ever with any of my parents' homes or anything. But it seems like automatically you guys like, it's a homey feeling. Right. Oh, I agree. Um... I guess that you really can't buy that. I guess that's kind of part of the beauty of pools is it gives some dimension of... Right. Otherwise, it would just be a, yeah. you know, a, a, a grass plot of land out here. And now it feels like you move in, you, you know, like you say, it's, it's livable, it's mm -hmm. homey, it feels like home. It's just perfect. Yeah, uh, what am can't I... wait to get to you too. Yeah, exactly. Well, well that, I good. wonder about that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I wonder what we'll those have to are. Figure all that <laughs> that, out. But it's but. funny because I mean, I, one thing I was, you know, when I was trying to devise the marketing thing, I said, you know, time's the true wealth, and the time you spend with your family is the is, is the best way to spend your time. And a pool, theoretically, Brings is the best together. time to hang out. It's well, most fun. Let's put it this way: I have two teenage daughters, eighteen and sixteen. Who's going to keep them and, home? <laughs> but for the pool, they really wouldn't want to hang out. With <laughs> there you go. Okay, so we come out here. It's only been a few days, but we come out here, we sit by the pool. Um, oh, the other thing is Blue Haven recommended a sun shelf. I don't know if you can see that, but... What is that? It's a. It's basically a section in the shallow end. That's where, so we just like lay down, like right, lay and get it's sun? basically one foot deep. So it's and like... you can an, see those blue chairs over there? You right. You put the blue chairs in there and literally it, it, sit in the water. It's like being on the shore it's when like, like the like place exactly, comes in. Exactly. It's like sitting in the beginning. It's like sitting in the shallow part of the ocean where the I love that. waves come up. Is that a new concept? Because I love that idea. I think it's a relatively new concept. I love that it. was their suggestion, and I loved it. That's and so cool. Those chairs, that's why those chairs are a little yeah. higher than some others. Those blue chairs, because, you know, they sit there. Look, if it's 96 degrees and you're sitting in the sun shelf, you're constantly refreshed, you know? Totally. It's so perfect. It's awesome. Yeah, you don't feel like swimming, but you feel like having that water on you. Right. I, that's actually quite brilliant. I haven't seen that in the, on any pool yet, but I'm just learning. But that is neat. Yeah, it's perfect size. And, and I, you do something that I, if I got a pool, I would not get a swimming, a diving board. Are they passe? Well, like, what's that, up? I, that I don't know, but because I, 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 I love that you don't. I think it's ugly. Like yeah. I like that you didn't myself. Well, the, the deepest part of the pool is only six foot deep, mm -hmm. and I'm Blue Haven recommended that, and since they build pools. I followed the recommendation. I'm very comfortable with that. Yeah. You're right. It's not, we don't really need, in this day and age, you don't need. Yeah. Let's get little, little you kids. You don't need teenagers yeah. coming over here and yeah, starting risky. to show off for yeah. the friends and, and diving themselves. off the board and hurting themselves. I hear you. You know, let them do that somewhere else. So. I totally hear you. Yeah, yeah. this is just for soaking and relaxing. And just looking at, and, and just listening to the water in the background when the water falls on and the spa's on, it's just very relaxing. So. That is nice. So. I mean, yeah. Gets you away from the stresses of work. and It does. So. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's like we all have our choices, what we spend our money on in life. And certain, you know, money can't buy happiness. But even though as a guy who doesn't have a pool, it seems like it's an, you're investing in that downtime. And, you know, you're, it's like having a vacation home at your own, own home, mm -hmm. in a way. So you don't have to go far to have this vacation experience. So, yeah, I, I do think even though I don't have one, I... I, I as I film these pools, I'm just like, you know, these people made the right decision. If you can afford it and you, you have a family, it seems like a great thing to have. Right. So, yeah, I really, you know, any, so if someone was deciding to buy a pool or to build a pool or whatever, last words, last comments, last, any insights about why they should pick Blue Haven, anything that you have to say? I would say they did a great job. Um, they used state-of-the-art equipment and 
they hire they, they have another company called Quality they, they a Quality Pool and they come out and they showed me how to use the pool and I, I couldn't be happier. So far, people were nice to deal with. Oh, uh, incredibly nice to deal with. They were very responsive. Uh, since the house was being built, um, it was a long process from beginning to end because it was being the pool was being built along with the house, so it made it tricky, you know, because. You know, the builder didn't want the pool company here at a certain time, but then he wanted them here at the other time, and the pool company worked within the schedule of the builder, so it couldn't have worked out any better. And that's probably not very typical, meaning, you know, th that must have been very tricky to coordinate all that, but it went seamless, it sounds like. It went very, Could have been a nightmare. Well. It mm -hmm. could have been a nightmare, and it wasn't. Mm -hmm. And I give Blue Haven a lot of credit for that. Yeah, well, Mr. Calvitti and his sons who, who work for him, it seems like they really got it down, you know, and because and, to be able to build this is... I mean, for, for me, one week, I did not expect, I, 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 I drove up here thinking, if, if the concrete's in, that will be cool. And I was like, whoa, I could not believe, because I have no concept of how long anything takes yet. But I'm just so stunned by it, and it just kind of is a testament to their professionalism and their coordination. It's almost like a film set. You have to have everyone kind of in coordination, and they, they know what they're doing. Yeah. And i got to be honest. And, I, and I don't work for them. I just, I'm just a contractor. But... And then you got the stone. Oh, that's okay. We're, We're done anyway. Better. I mean, yeah, we, we, but that's fine. That's actually a good shot to get. That's fine. Yeah, you go do it. I'm out of here. Um, I'll get out of your way. Can I get a copy of that? Yes. What I'm going to do is this. I have your email. I'm going to send you all of it, either links, and I'll okay. come back in maybe six weeks okay. or, or eight to get that. Yeah. But I'll keep in touch with you by email. Six weeks. Four, four, ten, four weeks. Two whatever. or three weeks. Yeah. I'll, you'll have my it email. Better be two or three weeks. You, you have my email. I, I already sent you an email that it goes to a link called Photosynth where you can look at your pool in 360. Oh, I, I already wait. did that. So you'll have that. And it says T. Patrick Mary at Gmail. And right. we can talk by that. And then, I'll, yeah. and then we'll have lunch. Monday. Yeah, let's have lunch. You have my card. Check my movie out. All Ken, right. thank That's you so much. Stuff. I'm going to get my shoes and I'll get out of your way. Yeah, it's all right. I'll just get everything. Thank you. You're all set. I'm out of here. <laughs> I love these speakers. Let's see. Okay.